Hello, good morning. This is Vinay Dikshit, Senior Chemistry Faculty at CLC. I am going to discuss about the first DTS held on 14th Feb. The first question is given, the point first, second and third in the following plots respectively corresponds to. This is the most probable velocities you find and V most probable is equals to under root 2RT by M. Means it is directly proportional to T by M. So the most probable speed is at 300 Kelvin nitrogen, oxygen and hydrogen. This one is correct option. Next. For the solution of gases W, X, Y and Z in water at 298 Kelvin, the Henry's law constant are 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 35 and 40 bar respectively. The correct plot for the given data. The four gases are given W, X, Y and Z. The value of Z is 40. This one and the next one is Y, X and W. P equals to KH into solubility or mole fraction of gas. That means as well as the mole fraction increases, the partial pressure of the gas decreases. So the first option is correct. Next. The next question is complete combustion of hydrocarbon P form X mole of H2O and Y moles of carbon dioxide. X equals to 1.5 Y is given. That means we can write the general equation CA HB plus A plus B by 2 O2 gives A moles of carbon dioxide plus it is 4. B by 2 moles of H2O. Now here the relation is given X equals to 1.5 Y. So X upon Y equals to 1.5 means we can written as 3 by 2, the ratio of x and y. And here is given x mole of water. x mole of water means b by 2. And x mole of water and y moles of H2O. y moles of carbon dioxide means upon A equals to 3 by 2. That means b by A equals to 6 by 2. The compounds formula is C2H6. That means the volume of carbon dioxide that is equals to 2 moles and volume of 1 mole of carbon dioxide at STB is this. So it becomes 44.8 liter. Next please. Here it is given 500 milliliter aqueous solution of urea has 20 moles of water. The density of solution is 1.2 gram per milliliter. The molarity of solution. The moles of water are given 20. That means the mass of water 20 into 18 gram. It becomes 360 gram. Now it is given 500 milliliter solution and density is given. So the mass of solution equals to 500 into 1.2, 600 gram. So we can calculate the mass of solute which is equals to 600 minus 360 it becomes 240 gram. Now we have to find the molarity of solution. Molarity equals to small w upon m into v milliliter into 1000. So w is given 240, molecular weight of 60 and volume is given 500 milliliter in 2000 it becomes 4 to the 8 m this is the right answer 
next please the next question is given in a disproportionation reaction br2 plus oh minus gives br minus plus bro3 minus plus water the ratio of br2 molecules undergoing oxidation and reduction first of all we should consider br2 gives br minus here it is one mole is going to reduce and now br2 gives bro3 minus here it is zero it is plus five it is oxidized the ratio is under oxidation and reduction oxidation five moles and reduction one the answer is five ratio one next please which molecule underlined element in the plus five oxidation state plus five oxidation state means k2 h2 sb2 o7 it is given here plus one into two plus two into plus one plus two x plus seven into minus two equals to zero that means it becomes plus five the second answer is right next the vapor pressure of the solution of two liquids p naught of a is given p naught of b is given and total pressure is also given when x a is 0.6 that means here we can use p t equals to p naught a into x a plus p naught b into x b so we have to calculate p t 100 into 0 0.6 plus 120 into 0 0.4 it becomes 60 plus 48 108 total pressure given 110 it becomes 108 that means first and third is right answer next please the ratio of rate of diffusion of methane and sulfur dioxide at 300 kelvin as we know that the ratio of rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to the molecular mass here the molecular mass sulfur dioxide 64 methane 6 16 that means the ratio is 2 ratio 1 third option is right next please if mass percentage of zinc is an enzyme is 0.5 percent then minimum molecular weight of the enzyme will be here we can write the percentage of element 0.5 equals to the mass of zinc 65 minimum one atom upon molar mass into 100 m equals to 0 0.5 m equals to here we can write 65 100 upon 0 0.5 the answer becomes 13000 the right answer is second next please which of the following has maximum number of significant figure the answer is third because exact figure is given in this the this last digit has an error that means third option is correct next incorrect representation of echo solution of non volatile non electrolyte solid solute the third option is correct because wherever non volatile non electrolyte solute is added the partial pressure means suppose h2o liquid gives h2o gas here we can use kp equals to partial pressure of h2o so with the temperature the re equation is kp equals to a e to the power minus delta h upon rt so the third option is correct next please the compound in which the metal exhibits more than one oxidation state where the fractional oxidation state fe3o4 it is a mixture of ferrous and ferric oxide and the third one is also so the right answer is first and third means fourth option is correct next a plot of volume versus temperature for a fixed amount of gas at different values of pressure are shown in the figure which of the following order of pressure is correct for this gas <coughs> here volume temperature is given we know that pv equals to nrt and here it is given v 
equals to kt so if we write v equals to nrt upon p so the k value is equals to nrt upon p these are constant k inversely proportional to p that means the option is correct third next please now the next question which of the following echo solutions should have the highest boiling point the boiling point del t b depends on i into c here concentrations are same the value of i when 100% ionization takes place i equals to n that means the value of i is maximum for second it is correct option if 500 milliliter of 5m solution is diluted to 1500 what will be the molarity of the solution obtained here we can write n1 v1 equals to n2 v2 n1 is given 5m into 500 equals to it is case of dilution either we can use m1 v1 or m2 n1 v1 equals to n2 v2 so 1500 into m2 it becomes 1.66 m next please in the reaction 2a plus 4b gives 3c plus 4d that means 2a plus 4b gives 3c plus 4d and the given 5 moles of a and 6 moles of b divided by stoichiometric coefficient 2 4 it becomes 2.5 it becomes 1.5 and now then amount of c formed 3 it is a limiting reagent so 3 into 1.5 it becomes 4.5 the right answer is second next please which of the following is not an example of redox reaction in which no change in oxidation number takes place barium plus 2 plus 2 sulfur chlorine no change in the oxidation number next please which of the following arrangement represents increasing oxidation number of central atom here chromium plus 3 here chlorine plus 5 here chromium plus 6 manganese plus 7 the right answer is 4 next please here four gases are given and the critical temperatures are given the gases which have high critical temperature can be liquefied easily that means the critical temperature is maximum for oxygen then for nitrogen then for hydrogen then for helium that means the fourth option is correct next please at 400 kelvin the root mean square speed of a gas molecular weight 40 is equal to the most probable speed of gas y at 60 kelvin the molecular weight v rms at 400 kelvin is equals to v most probable at 60 kelvin it is under root 3 rt by m equals to under root 2 rt by m we can use formula and then write the values t 400 the first gas is molecular mass is 40 and the next one is 3 also here and 2 the temperature is given 60 and m we have to find it means 10 6 it becomes 4 3 20 yes. 2 it becomes 4 the second option is correct next please want a factor of equally concentrated aqueous solution of x y z are 1.8 0.8 2.5 then correct order will be while we write delta tb 
that means T s minus T naught here I while we write delta T f T naught minus I into T s that means with increase in value of I freezing point decreases that means the second option is correct next please. 1 gram of bivalent metal carbonate on heating gives 0.5 gram metal oxide. The molar mass of metal sulfate would be in gram per mole. The metal carbonate bivalent both have same valencies to metal carbonate on heating gives MO plus carbon dioxide. Here 1 mole of metal carbonate gives 1 mole of metal oxide. That means here we can write the number of moles of metal carbonate 1 upon x plus 60. x is the atomic mass of metal equals to 0 0.5 upon x plus x plus oxygen 16. We can solve and find the x plus 16 equals to 0 0.5 x plus 30. So, 0 0.5 x equals to 14. x equals to 140 by 0 0.5. It becomes 1400. 5, 2, 8, 28. And the formula of metal sulfate MSO4 and the molecular mass becomes 156. Next please. NaIO3 reacts with NaHSO3 according to the following equation. This equation is given the equivalent weight of oxidant. Here a reduction of IO3 minus 2 I minus takes place. Here it is plus 5. It is minus 1. So, the N factor is 6. The correct option is fourth. Next please. The pressure of 1 ratio 4 mixture mole of dihydrogen and dioxygen closed in the vessel in is 1 atmosphere. What would be the partial pressure of dioxygen? Partial pressure of dioxygen equals to mole fraction of dioxygen into total pressure. The mole fraction here it is given 4 ratio 1, 1 ratio 4. So, it becomes 4 ratio 5 into 1. 0 0.8 atm or 1 atm equals to 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 means lump sum it becomes 8 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per meter square. Next please. Maximum amount of solid solute that can be dissolved in a specified amount of a given liquid solvent does not depends on it does not depends on pressure because its compressibility is negligible next please here it is given in the reaction calcium carbonate plus scl cacl2 plus carbon dioxide plus water what mass of cacl2 will be formed when 250 milliliter of 0. 76 m HCl reacts with 1000 gram of calcium carbonate. Here reaction is calcium carbonate plus 2 HCl gives CaCl2 plus carbon dioxide plus water. So, here the number of moles 1000 gram is given 100. It becomes 10 moles. And here it is 250 into 0 0.76 upon 1000 because it is given in milliliter. So, the number of moles of HCl equals to by 2 equals to number of moles of CaCl2. So, we can calculate the right answer is 10.54. Next please. Which of the following element does not show disproportionation tendency? Fluorine because it is the most electronegative element. It shows only minus 1 oxidation state. So, it would not disproportionate 
tendency. It would not have disproportionate tendency. Next please. 400 centimeter cube of oxygen at 27 degree Celsius were cooled up to minus 3 degree Celsius without change in pressure. The contraction in volume will be. Volume contraction, it is based on Charles law V1 by T1 equals to V2 by T2. It is, V1 is given 400, this is given 300 and V2 we have to calculate that the temperature is 270 Kelvin. So V2 equals to V2 equals to 400 into 270 upon 300. It cancel out 9 for the 36 centimeter cube. We have to reduce it becomes 360 volume contraction V2 minus V1. It becomes 400 minus 360 becomes 40 centimeter cube. The first option is correct. Next please. Which one of the following pairs of solution can we expect to be isotonic at the same temperature? Isotonic means the molar concentration of both the solution would be same. Here concentration are different. In other cases here we have to see I into C. That means 0.1 M urea, urea ga, I1 or 0.1 MCL, 0.1 M NaCl it is 2. Here it is 0.1 M urea and 0.1 M Na2Cl. SO4. Here it is 0 0.3. 0 0.1 M urea, 0.2 M MgCl2. Here it is 0.1 M calcium nitrate and 0.1 M sodium sulfate. Here both have same value of I. I into C, C becomes same. That means 4 option is correct because for both I equals to 3. Next please. A 10 liter bulb contains an ideal gas of molar mass 81 at 27 degree Celsius. Some gas is removed from the bulb until the pressure of gas decreased by 0.82 atmosphere. The mass of gas removed is. So that means delta P equals to W2 minus W1 upon molar mass into volume into RT. By substituting the values we can get 27 gram. Next please. How much volume of 0.1 M KMnO4 required for complete oxidation of 0.1 mole ferrous oxalate in acidic medium? Here we can write gram equivalents or milli equivalents of KMnO4. N1 V1 equals to N2 V2. Here MnO4 reduces into Mn2 plus in acidic medium. N factor is 5. While ferrous oxalate Fe2 plus plus C2O4 2 minus. It oxidizes into Fe3 plus plus carbon dioxide. Here it is plus 4. It changes 1. And it changes plus 3 to plus 4. 1 into 2. The N factor is 3. So we can write here 0 0.1 into 5 into V equals to N2 here 0 0.1 mole. Mole into N factor becomes gram equivalent into 3 upon 1000. So V equals to. 3 by 5 into 100. It becomes 600 milliliter. Next please. Given that abundance of isotope. So average atomic mass we have to find. Average atomic mass equals to we can use mx into px plus my py plus mz pz upon 100. 
all isotopic masses are given with the percentage abundance so we can get 55.75 next please which of the following statements are wrong 1.6 gram of hydrocarbon on combustion in excess of oxygen produces 1.2 gram of carbon dioxide and 0.4 gram of water the data illustrate the law of conservation of mass but here it is given mass of product equals to mass of hydrocarbon the mass of oxygen is not given that means this is it is wrong and magnesium oxide and magnesium hydroxide pair illustrates the law of multiple proportion no it is not correct because in multiple proportion the same oxide should be there so the first and second are wrong the second option is correct next please the number of moles of cacl2 needed to react with excess of agno3 to produce 4.31 gram of agcl so here we can write cacl2 plus agno3 gives 2 agcl plus calcium nitrate here also we can write to the number of moles of cacl2 needed equals to number of moles of agcl formed by 2 so the number of agcl we can calculate 4.31 upon 143.5 into 2 so here we can get the result 4.31 upon 07 the value is lump sum 0.03 next please <coughs> in the reaction na2s2o3 plus i2 gives na2s4o6 plus nai <coughs> which of the following is true na2h2o3 is reducing agent because here it is plus 2 oxidizes into 2.5 it is here 0 minus 1 so all are correct in this the fourth option is right next please if the freezing point of 0.1 m aqueous boh solution is 0.2046 degree celsius then ph of solution is k for water is given molarity molarity same hai the first we will have to find i equals to delta tf observed upon delta tf calculated delta tf observed is given 0.2046 upon molality 0.1 into 1.86 it becomes approx 1.1 now we can calculate alpha alpha equals to i minus 1 upon n minus 1 it becomes 0.1 upon 2 minus 1 0.1 h and oh and concentration equals to we can get c alpha C is given 0.1, alpha becomes 0.1, it becomes 10 to the power minus 2. So pOH is 2, pH will be 12. Third option is right. Next, please. A real gas most closely approaches towards the behavior of an ideal gas at all real gases at low pressure, very low pressure. and high temperature behaves as ideal gas that means in all four cases the lowest pressure is this and the highest temperature is this so real gases approaches to ideal gases at this condition next please in the reaction nh4 of whole twice cr2o7 n2 plus cr2o3 plus water here oxidation state of nitrogen is minus 3 chromium is plus 6 here it is 0 here it is plus 3 that means the oxidation and reduction of 
atoms takes place within the same molecule that means it is intra intra means within the same the first option is correct next please volume of one molecule of oxygen get at stb volume of one mole of volume of one mole of gas at stb is equals to 22400 milliliter that means the volume of one molecule volume of one molecule equals to 22400 upon na so it becomes first option next please if mole fraction of urea is 0.15 then the molality of urea in the solution will be the formula is mole fraction of solute upon mole fraction of solvent into molar mass of solvent upon 1000 sorry 1000 upon molar mass of solvent equals to molality in short we can write 0.15 upon <coughs> 0.85 into 55.56 equals to molality it becomes 9.8 the fourth option is correct next please the slope of isocor plotted between p versus t in the van der waal gas equation having negligible molecular attraction <coughs> p plus 0 v minus b equals to rt so p equals to rt upon v minus b when the graph plotted between p versus t that mean the slope becomes r minus b the fourth r upon v minus b the fourth option is correct next please h2o2 plus o3 gives h2o plus o2 pbs plus h2o2 gives pbso4 plus h2o the role of hydrogen peroxide in the above reactions is respectively the first reaction o3 is reduced into o2 plus nascent oxygen <coughs> and h2o2 plus nascent oxygen becomes h2o plus o2 that means oxidation is takes place of h2o2 in the first reaction so it is it behaves as a reducing agent in the second reaction pbs plus h2o2 gives pbso4 plus h2o here it is minus 2 and it is plus 6 and it is minus 1 minus 2 here reduction takes place so it is oxidizing agent in the first reducing and the second is oxidizing agent second option is right next please the oxide which cannot act as reducing agent which has maximum oxidation state sulfur trioxide plus 6 only reduction takes place so it behaves only oxidizing agent not reducing agent second option is correct next calculate the percentage degree of dissociation of an electrolyte xy2 normal molecular mass is given in water if the observed molar mass by measuring the elevation in boiling point is this so first of all we have to calculate i i equals to normal molecular mass upon observed molecular mass the normal is given 164 observed is given 65.6 lump sum it becomes 2.5 i equals to 1 plus 2 alpha because xy2 when dissociates x plus 2y so it become xy3 it is given xy2 so 1 plus to y minus plus xy2 gives x plus 2 plus 2y minus so 1 plus 2 alpha here 2.5 equals to 1 plus 2 alpha 
so alpha becomes 0.75 that means 75 percent is the right answer first option is correct next please what amount of CaCl2 is dissolved in 2 liter of water so that its osmotic pressure is 0 0.5 atm at 27 degrees Celsius here we can use pi equals to I W upon M into V R T. So the here by substituting value we can get 1.820 gram. Next please. 8 gram oxygen has same number of atoms at that top. Number of moles of oxygen is 1 by 4 and it is diatomic so 1 by 4 into 2 Na the same answer becomes this because carbon monoxide diatomic its molecular mass one atom means 28 so 1 by 4 mole is there so second option is right next 24 gram magnesium metal reacts with water then how many moles of hydrogen will be liberated magnesium plus water gives MgO plus hydrogen 24 gram means 1 mole 1 mole magnesium gives 1 mole hydrogen the fourth option is correct next please in acidic medium the number of moles of K2Cr2O7 required to oxidize 1 mole of Cu3P 2 CuSO4 and S3PO4 in acidic medium K2Cr2O7 reduced to Cr3 plus here the change is 6 <coughs> ONC is 6 and now Cu3P to CuSO4 plus H3PO4 copper oxidation state is plus 1 while phosphorus minus 3 here copper plus 2 phosphorus plus 5 change is 1 but the atom are 3 and in phosphorus the change takes place 8 the total oxidation number change is 11 that means for 1 mole of K2Cr2O7 it would be the number of moles of K2CO2O7 required 6 by 11. Next please. The incorrect order of decreasing oxidation state of sulphur. In the fourth option it is plus 6, it is plus 4, it is minus 2, it is plus 6. So it is the incorrect option. The fourth one is incorrect. Next please. <coughs> A balloon is filled with N2O is pricked with the sharp point and quickly plunged into a tank of carbon dioxide under the same pressure and temperature. Since both the gases have same molar mass so no diffusion would take place because N2O and carbon dioxide both have molar mass 44. So remain unchanged in size. Next please. 0.44 gram of gas occupies 224 milliliter at STB. Its vapor density, 224 milliliter gas occupies volume equals to what? Just a minute. Means 224 milliliter gas weighs. 0 0.44 gram so for one mole means 22,400 milliliter gas weighs equals to 44 gram it is the molecular mass so vapor density equals to molecular mass by 2 it becomes 22 third option is correct next please the ratio of total kinetic energy of 1.87 gram of hydrogen and 5.3 gram of oxygen at 300 Kelvin. 
kinetic energy equals to 3 by 2 nRT. So, it becomes N1 T1 upon N2 T2. Since the temperature is also same, so 1.87 upon 2 by 5.53 by 32. The ratio is 5.4 ratio 1. <coughs> Next please. How much oxygen is dissolved in 100 milliliter of water at 298 Kelvin if the partial pressure of oxygen is 0.5 atm and kh is given. So, we can use P equals to kh into solubility which is in mole per liter. Here pressure is given 0 0.5 and kh is given 1.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 equals to solubility means W upon molar mass of oxygen 32 into volume is given 100 into 1000. So, we have to, we can calculate W 22.4 milligram the first option is correct. Next please. <coughs> it is very interesting question which of the following graph is correct for hydrogen gas because hydrogen is a real gas. So, everybody is think that this option should be correct, but here for hydrogen when we plot the graph between P V then for ideal gas the graph should be this for ideal gas and for hydrogen we know that Z equals to P V upon N R T. So, P V equals to Z into N R T for hydrogen gas Z is greater than 1. So, P V is also greater than 1 that means the graph for hydrogen is above the ideal gas that means the first option is correct. Next please. <coughs> How many moles of potassium chloride to be heated to produce 5.6 liter of oxygen? KCl O3 on heating gives KCl plus O2. Here balance reaction is twice, twice, thrice. 3 moles of oxygen needed 2 moles of potassium chloride. Here 5.6 means 1 by 4 mole because 5.6 by 22.4 1 by 4 mole equals to 2 by 3 into 4. It becomes 1 by 6 mole. The first option is correct. Next please. <coughs> At room temperature ammonia and HX are passed into one meter long tube from two opposite ends at the same pressure the formation of NH4X will be closest from the injection of HX when HX is it is a long narrow tube where, where area of cross section is same one side ammonia and from other side another gas is passed this is ammonia and here HX. Since the molar mass of ammonia is less than others 17. So, it will cross first the midpoint and the closest here the rate of diffusion of HI is least because of highest molecular mass the fourth option is correct. Next please. <coughs> 28 gram of nitrogen at 299.6 Kelvin having a pressure of 2.46 ATM occupies here we can use pi equals to W by M RT upon V. So, when we substitute the value the answer would be second 10 liter it becomes next please <coughs> calculate the molecular weight of a substance whose 7 percent by mass of solution in water freezes at minus 0.93 degree Celsius. The cryoscopic constant of water is 1.86. So, we, here we can find the molality 7 percent by mass 7 gram by 93 gram weight of solvent into 1000 into molar mass we have to calculate. So, we can use delta Tf equals to Kf into small m. By solving we can get second option. Next please. 
when a metal is burnt its weight is increased by 24 percent the equivalent weight of metal metal heated with oxygen metal oxide suppose it is 100 gram it becomes 124 gram 24 percent increased in weight so equivalent weight of metal equals to 100 upon 24 into 8 because the part which combines with 8 part of oxygen is the equivalent weight 3 times it becomes 100 by 3 that means the second option is rise next please here oxidation number of phosphorus in BaH2PO2 of whole twice we can find plus 2 plus hydrogen 4 into plus 1 plus x 2x plus 4 into minus 2 equals to 0. So the oxidation state of phosphorus would be plus 1 and also it is a ion of H3PO2 hypophosphorous acid in which the oxidation state of phosphorus is plus 1. Next. Numerical value of universal gas constant R depends on R equals to PV upon NT. So it depends only on the units of measurement because when we place 1 atm 22.4 liter N1 mole temperature 273 Kelvin it becomes 0.0821 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin and whenever the pressure and volume the dimension is changed the value will change so it depends on unit of measurement next please <coughs> number of electrons involved in the conversion of one mole nitrate ion to hydrazine will be nitrate ion NO3 minus 2 hydrazine is N2H4 here it is plus 5 and it is minus 1 change minus 2 minus 5 becomes 7 7 electron involved in this so third option is correct next please 1 liter of methane weighs 1.2 gram of 2 liter of an alkyne x weighs 8.09 gram under identical condition of temperature and pressure the unknown gas here we can find 1.2 gram of methane 16 into 1 liter equals to 8.09 upon molar mass 2 liter equal volume of all gases contains equal number of moles so we can equate the number of moles and we can get third option next please equal moles of each hydrogen methane and SO3 are kept in a vessel a hole is made in the vessel after NR the partial pressure of gases will be in the order when in the vessel the hole is sprinkled then the rate of diffusion of hydrogen is maximum because molecular mass is less than methane then sulfur trioxide the number of moles in the vessel sulfur trioxide are maximum so the partial pressure of SO3 methane and hydrogen is the right option next please <coughs> the density of gas is found to be 1.55 gram per liter at 755 millimeter pressure and 65 degree Celsius X gas can be here we can use density equals to P upon RT because PV upon RT sorry just a minute P V equals to W by M R T so P equals to W upon V into M R T in place of that we can substitute density so P into M upon RT equals to density so we will substitute the values and we can get the result third option next 
next please what percentage of gas will be escaped <coughs> out if open vessel is heated from 300 kelvin to 500 kelvin whenever the temperature is given an open vessel is heated then we can use n1 t1 equals to n2 t2 that means n1 by n2 equals to t2 by t1 500 by 300 so n2 equals to 3 by 5 n1 moles remains so escaped out n1 minus 3 by 5 n1 it becomes 2 by 5 n1 that means 40 percent will be escaped next please the density of NH4OH solution is found to be 0 0.6 gram per milliliter it contains 35 percent by mass of NH4OH the normality of the solution here directly one formula we should know 10 into weight percent into density upon equivalent mass here 10 into 35 into density is 0 0.6 upon equivalent mass of ammonium hydroxide 35 it becomes 6 the fourth option is correct next please <coughs> An aqueous solution containing 28% by mass of a liquid A, molar mass 140, has a vapor pressure of 160 millimeter of Hg at 30 degree Celsius. The find the vapor pressure of pure liquid A. Here, 28% by mass of liquid A. So, number of moles of A, 28 by its molar mass is 140 it becomes 0 0.2 and number of moles of water 100 minus 28 by 18 it becomes 4 so here we can use p t equals to p naught of a into x a plus p naught of b means water into mole fraction of water by substituting the value we can get p naught of a 360 millimeter of hg the first option is right next please here it is given x mole of potassium ferrocyanide y moles of ceric nitrate z moles of koh all these given we have to find the value of x and y and z so k4 fe cn6 is changes into FeOH of whole thrice plus K2CO3 plus KNO3. Here oxidation state of iron is plus 2 while carbon is plus 3. Nitrogen minus 4. Here it is plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 in iron change is 1 in carbon change is 1 but 6 atoms are there so 6 in nitrogen change is 9 into 6 atom 54 6 61 while ceric nitrate oxidizes into ceric hydroxide plus 4 plus 3 in this change is 1 that means 1 and 61 and 258 is the right answer <coughs> next please which of the following can act as oxidant and reductant here in H2O2 the oxidation state of oxygen is minus 1 neither minimum nor maximum so it can oxidize as well as reduced H2O2 can be oxidized and reduced so it can act as both oxidant and reductant fourth option is correct next which of the following which of how much amount of sulfur can be obtained by the 
a reaction of one mole of sulfur dioxide with 22.4 liter of H2S. It becomes sulfur plus water. The balance reaction is here twice and here thrice twice. It's one mole. 22.4 means it also becomes one mole, but its stoichiometric coefficient is given to so it becomes 1 by 2, 0 0.5. Limiting reagent is this. So the moles of sulfur, 3 into 0 0.5, 1.5, multiplying by 32. So the mass of sulfur obtained is 48 gram. Sorry. 48 gram is the right answer. Next, please. 50 gram of antifreeze ethylene glycol is added to 200 gram of water. What amount of ice will be separated out at minus 9.3 degrees Celsius and Kf is 1.86 Kelvin kg per mole. So we are here we have to find amount of ice will be separated. So we can use delta Tf equals to Kf into small w into 1000 upon small m into capital W. This is the moles weight of solvent. So weight of solvent we can calculate 1.86 into small w 50 gram into 1000 upon small m ethylene 62 into capital W we have to find and delta T this 9.3 and this capital W should be minus into the 200, 200 minus capital W we can have the answer 38.71 gram. Next please. PTCL4 dot 6 h 20 can exist as a hydrated complex. 1 mh aqueous solution has elevated in boiling point 1.04 assume 100 percent ionization and Kb for water is this. Then the complex here we can find I equals to delta Tf observed delta Tb observed upon delta Tb calculated. Delta Tb observed is given 1.04. Here it becomes 0 0.52 into 1. So becomes 2. I equals to N because 100% ionization takes place. So this one is the right answer because it has two ions. Next please. <coughs> Here we have to find equivalent weight of FeS2 in the following reaction. FeS2 gives Fe3 plus, plus SO3. It is in plus 2 oxidation state but sulfur in minus 1. Here sulfur plus 6. So in this change occurs 1 but here change occurs 6 or minus 1, 7 or 7 into 2, 14. So it becomes M by 15. Next. The number of molecules present in 1 decimeter cube of nitrogen at NTB whose compressibility factor is 1.5 will be. Here we can find number of molecules equals to means here we can write Z equals to PV upon NRT. So N equals to PV upon ZRT. And by this we can calculate the answer would be second. Next please. Which of the following is or are true for Boyle's law? We know that the Boyle's law is V is inversely proportional to P. So V equals to K into P or P equals to K into 1 by V. If we differentiate it dP by dV equals to K into V to the power minus 1 means minus 1 minus 1 this. So dP by dV equals to minus K into K by V square. The one option is this and PV equals to constant.
बोथ सेकेंड एंड थर्ड आर करेक्ट नेक्स्ट प्लीज देखिए बेटे नेक्स्ट इफ वन मोल ऑफ ए एंड फोर मोल्स ऑफ बी ऑन मिक्सिंग हैव अ टोटल प्रेशर 75 फाइव टॉर वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ प्योर प्योर ए इज 200 हंड्रेड टॉर एंड प्योर बी इज 50 टॉर सो पी टी इक्वल्स टू वी कैन कैलकुलेट टू हंड्रेड इन टू वन बाई फाइव प्लस द बी इज गिवेन फिफ्टी इन टू फोर बाई फाइव इट बिकम्स फोर्टी प्लस फोर्टी एट्टी मिलीमीटर विच इज ग्रेटर देन टोटल प्रेशर दैट मीन्स नेगेटिव डेविएशन इट शोज so where no option is matching but for delta s surrounding the first option is correct because here it is delta s surrounding is positive next please next question is van der waal constant a is least for van der waal constant a depends on molar mass of gas here the molar mass of hydrogen is 2 which is least among all these that means the first option is correct if is least for hydrogen gas the next question is p4 plus xoh minus plus y moles of h2o gives z ps3 plus 3 moles of h2po2 minus so here we can write p4 gives ph3 it is a reaction of basic medium so we can add 3 moles of now so here initially we can write p4 gives ph3 here zero but the oxidation state here minus 3 the change is 12 onc is 12 and the next one is p4 to h2 po2 minus 02 plus 1 here also multiplied by 4 so onc is 4 multiplying by 3 in equation second so the option is 3 3 1 the first option is right next please <coughs> various oxidation number of carbon in c3o2 the structure of c3o2 is c double bond c double bond c double bond o double bond o it is plus 2 oxidation state and since the electronegativity difference is zero so it is zero 2 and 0 is the right answer <clears throat> thank you